It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Washington Commanders and the Denver Broncos coming up next. In a few months' time, snow will blanket the Great Peaks just to our west, but for now, summer still in full swing at Empower Field and Mile High. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Denver Broncos. Brandon Gaughton here in Denver, joined by Charles Davis and CD. The Broncos are looking for a turnaround here in 2023. Coming off a five-win season and a last-place finish in the AFC West, but this doesn't feel like a last-place team. Nor to me, because when you look at them on offense, loaded with skill position players at wide receiver and running back, and then flip it over to the defensive side of the ball, and they can compete with anyone. They make it tough to run your offense. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, this is a team that many think could be the fourth best in the NFC East, but they've got a pretty strong defense that's going to probably keep them in some ball games. Their investment in talent has certainly paid off. Number four against the pass a season ago. Number four overall in total defense. Nothing to shake a stick at. If they get good quarterback play, look out. we go from Denver this taken in right around the goal line and a nifty return there all the way across the 40 well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue Russell Wilson and similar to his nickname Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Finding room at midfield. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good start. One play, 10 yards. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Now the third-year man back in healthy. It's Javante Williams. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and seven. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get. 10 plus yards on a guy who has the legs to escape most of these. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Back to throw. Wilson. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check enforce a punting situation. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. This is taken at the 15. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. The Commanders set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod for Commanders leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth-round pick. One start as a rookie, and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, 
This is a guy who was once viewed as a first round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. And the defense, they get to Howard. He'll go down here. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Third and 20. Third and long, here's Howell. execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Back deep for Denver, the rookie Marvin Mims. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he checks this one down to Williams. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Play action. Now Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. But on that play, they held up quite well. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Wilson. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. A give to Williams, running right. And able to get this to the 31. From the 31, here's the second down and six. And they'll run the end around here with Judy. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now Wilson. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. It would appear Sean Payton's made the decision here. They will go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. 
Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. They go back to the ground with Williams. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Second and six. Wilson now off the bootleg. And it's caught. And the Broncos are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Here we go now on first and goal. Williams diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. Well, granted, he just followed his nose and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front give him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? Will Lutz on for the point after capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. A yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. From the 28, it's second and five. A give to Gibson running right. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Gibson with the solid pickup there, and the commanders love using his ability in a variety of roles. Led the team with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards in 2022. He can run it and catch it out of the backfield. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 45-yard line. 17 yards that time and a Washington first. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Taken 
from the 41. Here's second and six. Gibson again. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. And Howell will throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 27-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Straight ahead, Gibson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Powell out of the shotgun. That's going to be caught. And he'll be out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Here's Hal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Gibson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. When trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. They'll try to run with Gibson. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He lost two, and it brings up four. One word comes to mind to me after that last play, and that's alert. That defense took a chance guessing the snap count, and they were so right. Got a great push up front, and that forces fourth and goal. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Fourth down, Hal. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got him. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. Laying himself out in the end zone. And the commander's decision to go for it pays off with six points. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the Broncos coming out now. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays. 
tripped and also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, Wilson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. On third down, here's Williams. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And the momentum just continuing to build and build. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Back to throw, Howell. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because... Like, like him is going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. On second down, a run with Gibson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Throwing on third down here. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A give up the middle to Gibson. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. He's brought down at the 15 yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now a second and six. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And the Commanders are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They'll run with Gibson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Stopped for a loss by the linebacker, Josie Jewell. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. Throwing here, Howell. will be incomplete. 
Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Powell, third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback when there's extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Sly able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Wilson's throw here into the hands of the receiver, Judy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That's what we were hoping to see out of Williams last season before a torn ACL four weeks in, ruined expectations that he could join the top tier of NFL running backs. That type of upside remains, though, and Denver certainly prepared to help him unlock it as he returns to full strength. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? No daylight for him to run through there and he ran into the defensive tackle and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now it's Wilson. Screenplay set up for Williams. He's across midfield and finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Carter liked the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation. But instead, they fooled him a little bit with the screen and they wound up getting back what they lost and then a little bit more. For Washington on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 29-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit them quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. Now Wilson on first down. His throw incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and ten.
Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. To throw is Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And they're gonna lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Officially, it's a one yard loss. That's gonna bring up second and 11. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. On second down, here's Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Throwing is Wilson. That is caught inside the five. Yeah, the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Wilson. Touchdown, Broncos! Ross able to connect with Cortland Sutton there, and the Broncos have retaken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. And the Washington offense heading out. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. And yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Second down, Hal now. Out left to Dotson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
<laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Second down and eight. On the counter, Gibson. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Al, he'll look to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of his first half of action. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Second down and four. Al down to throw it. Throws the L out and completes it to Samuel. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 29-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Pal to the air on first and 10. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Second and five. Powell. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And Howe will throw it. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Howe. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Now second and five. Here's Hal. And he will find his man on the outside. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Another throw for Howell. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Well, whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pick, not good at all. 
Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here caught by Mims. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Here's a second and five now from the 25. And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. It'll be a pickup of a couple and it leaves him with a third and three. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was former Tar Heel Javante Williams with a solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone, and he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Second down and six now from the 26. Back to throw, Howell. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him. To find him, find him. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Hal throwing on third down here. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 36 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now we got whistles before the snap. Looked like one of the commanders jumped. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw. Powell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second down, Hal back to pass. Complete, it's Dodson. And this 
this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 17-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing here, Howell. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but it's going to be second down. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Now they go play action with Hal. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This one from 35 yards away. Sly able to put this one through, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. On first and ten, it's Wilson. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Now it's Wilson. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy. Third down here. From the shotgun, Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. On the counter, here's Williams. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Third and nine here.
Here's Wilson. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for Denver. Take it in at the 22. 13 yards the tally on the return there. And they will take over first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. So from the 37, here's a second and nine. Once more, Gibson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Here comes third down and seven. From the gun on third down, Howell. Open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 15. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throw right side is gonna be caught by Judy. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Here's a second and five. Now Wilson. Short throw cut. And the ball is knocked out. A couple of veterans. Wilson to Sutton there for the Bronco first. A call in luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little hit fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. Wilson. That is caught, and he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Wilson. Pass complete to Judy on the out route. Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Seven 
17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Tough sequence there for the offensive line. Well, it gives us a chance to shine a little spotlight on the defensive linemen, on the defensive tackles. They don't normally get a bunch of praise, but it all starts there, doesn't it? If you're going to have a good run defense, they have to hold the point of attack and make plays as they just did there. Williams going to get it again on second down. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. I guess that was a little better. He got back to the line of scrimmage there after the loss on first down, but now you're still dealing with a third and long. So let's put on our offense coordinator hat. They've been very aggressive against the run the last two plays. I'm thinking screen right here. Let him come get the quarterback and dump it off. There could be some room to roam. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So a big play there on fourth, and now first and 10 at the 30. They go play action now. Wilson. And that's too tall for his receiver. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. To throw is Wilson. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 15 yards down to the 15 and a first down. Third and long as a defender, all you want to do is guard the first down line. Make sure that everything stays in front and run up there and make the tackle. They did everything exactly right except making the tackle the running back. And he ends up finding a way to pick up a first down. Brandon, that play just should not happen. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for, but it'll be second down. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On third down, Wilson. Now route complete to Dulcich. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And all the gamble. 
clean. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Alex Singleton, the linebacker, there on the tackle. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. On first down, right back to Gibson. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then executed. From the 22 now, here's second and nine. This time, they'll throw it with Hal. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and nine. Powell throwing on third down here. Steps away to his left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 47. Al, he'll look to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now Hal, open man is Samuel, complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. before they drop him. 69 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And they'll get him down after 
after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Hal throwing for it. And it is incomplete, so they can't convert for two. And now the lead stays at five. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. Now Wilson. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. It'll be a gain of five. And third and one now. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have the Broncos first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Wilson. He's going to have the first down and then so. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. 
Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing is Wilson. That's taken in by Dulcich. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Here we go with Williams. And they are gonna stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, they were two for three on fourth down tries. Now they're unsuccessful. That brings them down to 50%. But that's a percentage you have to feel pretty good about. You know, two for four, I mean, two for three before that, but finally get stopped again. That's okay. That's the type of team that'll keep pressing. In this situation, they'll continue to go for it. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down, Hal back to pass. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now try to pick it up on third. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go to try to go with the quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Howell's throw into the hands of McLaurin. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. A give to Gibson running right. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Well, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. 
So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A give up the middle to Gibson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Powell going to go down to a knee, and that should just about wrap this up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. That second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.